Hi YouTube, Timothy Unkert here, and in this video I want to demonstrate how you can write two lines in one printf statement. As you can see, I've included that in the comments at the top of the document, and I've also included the header file. Now let's create a main function. Alright, so I've got my main function here, and let's say I want to print that Dean is the coolest character on Supernatural. That is what I want to print in my first line. And then in my second line, I want to print Castiel is also a cool character on Supernatural. So previously what we did is we finished this statement and then we printed Castiel is the coolest or let's say is also a cool character on Supernatural. Okay, and then we returned zero at the end of this. Okay, and so that printed out those two lines. What we can do is we can combine those two lines. So let's get rid of this into one printf statement and I can just after this write and I don't even need a space because it brings it down to the next line. Castiel is also a cool character on Supernatural. And do a slash n at the end of that. Now, with this, because I have the font uh, rather large, if I bring it back to, say, normal, we'll see that this is all on the same line. But there's one thing, when I went through my Vim setup, that I set up, and that's using the leader key and then CC to show this color column here at 80 characters. Typically in programming, you don't want to go over that 80 character line because it makes the code less readable for other programmers and for yourself if you go back a while later. So in, a, in the next couple of videos, I'm, or maybe next video, I'm going to talk about how we can avoid this long line here and still just use one printf statement. Um, the other thing too is if you're watching this and you're not using Vim, you're using something else, most text editors do have some type of option where you can put this line at 80 characters. So um, if you go, do a little Google search, you should be able to figure that out. Uh, I am going to cover setting up Atom for C. Atom naturally has the 80 character line there. And I'll probably go over doing that in VS Code as well. So anyways, uh, if you found this video interesting, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications as it really does help the channel grow. And I hope to see you in the next video. And have a great day. Bye.